Hit Point. Hello, Hit Point here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Nuzlocke. Uh, we're going for Blaine today, I think. And we're going to probably just do a little bit of training and take him on. Get our fifth badge. We're getting pretty close to the Pokemon League now. More than halfway, I would say. Oh, she sells mail. So I'm not too familiar with this town. I'm just checking to see if any of these NPCs give me anything useful. Because if so, that would be fantabulous. I could use some, like, Pokeballs and stuff. And I have a nugget to sell. I don't think I have too many catches left. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, where's that nugget? Oh, did I already sell, already sell it? I guess I did. Cool. I was wondering where I should train. There are trainers out on this route, but... I don't know if that would be great. I guess it would be. Maybe I can get Homer to learn... Water Gun. Oh wait, he knows Surf. That's right. My mistake. It's been a couple days since I've played. But we'll see what we can find out here anyway. Oh, this is a... Uh, Okay, new root and Seafoam Islands. I can get Jinx here. So if I can get a Jinx, that would be really great for Rock or uh, for uh, Victory Road. That Seal. Seal's okay. I have so many water types already, though. Okay, so it's kind of a decent level. I'm gonna disable whatever it does. Yep. I was afraid of that. Do not want to get frozen. Does it have to go second? Hmm. Let's just hit it with confusion. I might give him a twisted spoon. Because I think I might end up teaching him psychic. I think I need to change my strategy a little. I don't know if Vivi would be any good here. If it tries to headbutt again, it will miss. Let's try a Psy Wave, maybe? Come on, Vivi. Okay, so it's sleeping now. I'm going to try and hit it with a Psy Wave and then capture, I think. Okay, wow. This thing's not taking any damage. Let's try an Ultra Ball, or a Great Ball, rather. Oh, come on. So close. Okay, well, it went back to sleep. Um, so rest increases its catch chance by 10%. I don't really want to risk anyone against it, so... I have tons of Pokeballs and stuff. Just gotta hope I get lucky. It's getting three shakes, like, every time. There we go, finally. Light blue fur that covers it keeps it protected against the cold. It loves iceberg-filled oceans. Hmm. 
Seal, Dugong. Hmm. I know. Bessie. Pretty sure there's a t t like a whole bunch of cool items in here, but that was kind of a strong Pokemon, so I might just leave for now. Oh, come on, I'm just trying to get out of here. Please don't kill me. Oh, Slowpoke would have been good too. I don't want to risk him like getting headbutted. Please don't have confusion. Oh god. What have I done? Okay. That was a crit. But we're leaving. It is a slow poke. Okay, good. Why is everything so scary? So I can catch a Pokemon out here too. I'll probably end up with Tentacool. But we'll find out. Please don't be like super high level. Yep, just a Tentacruel. Tentacruel is a good special wall though, so if it's good. Okay, it's kind of a high level. Can I hypnosis you? This is gonna hurt, but it has a good amount of hit points. Okay, good. And then I can Dream Eater. I hope this... it shouldn't faint it, it's like nine levels higher than me. Still some good damage. Do it again. Then I think I'll go for the Great Ball. Come on, Tentacool. Ah, oh, so close. Come on. Get in the bow. You know you want to. Yay! Hmm, what should his name be? Um... Oh, I know. Cause it's got like wiggly tentacles. Will it fit though? Miss Wiggles, perfect. All right, so there's two new Pokemon. We'll see if it's any good. Um. Wondering where I should train for Blaine here. There aren't any trainers over here yet. Hmm. Let's see. It is a pretty high level. It's actually pretty good. It has really high defense. High special. I could use this against Blaine actually. But who would I even swap out? I kind of want to get Golduck because I have Psychic. And this is a Ghost type, which helps. I'll decide later. How did I heal? So I will see what level the trainers are and go off to that. We might just be fine already. My Psyduck knows Surf. 
Oh, this is not the gym. Already fought this guy. Should be easy. It's only level 22. So I couldn't see his Pokemon being anywhere higher than like 28, maybe at the most. I really just need Mulpit and Psyduck, and I have um, a Rhyhorn as backup. Meowth? That's not a fire type Pokemon. Controlled again. Kind of want Psyduck to level up as well. My Rhyhorn knows Earthquake, so. That should be really helpful as well. So if I remember right, he should have like Rapidash and Arcanine at this point. Ooh, Flareon. I love the sprite, holy. That's really nice. Wow, it actually tanked a Surf. That's kind of surprising. Should be a good amount of experience, I think. Kills him with a crit. Holy, that's a lot of experience. Okay, so here's Nine Tails. That's a really good sprite too. Gen 2 sprites are just the best. Well, some of them are kind of bad. I like how it's like little arm is like coming out, it's like nyeh. I should give someone the amulet coin, because I'm kind of low on money now. Hooray. Um... How much cash do I have? Yeah, I definitely need more. Everyone's holding something. What does she have? No. That might save his life. He gets hit with like a surf or something. Yeah, switch out the berry. Is it just Blaine le left? Okay, it looks like. Okay, now, there he is. It's like, what? Okay, this guy might have a coughing or something annoying. I might have to switch into Stampers to tank a self-destruct. Let's go Slugma. Sent Surf.
That's an interesting development. Hopefully he doesn't know the same move mine my Koalaba knows, because that would be bad for Mulpit. The use of mission on me. Here we go. Ah, oh, so close to another level. I don't know, I feel pretty confident that I could beat Blaine with this team I have. I just don't want to rush it in case I scale everything up and then I get screwed over by something. Like a randomly high level trainer with like really good Pokemon or something. Hello. What's this again? Oh cool. Pizza Slice? I guess I should buy some of this. I get like three lemonades. How did I heal? Alrighty, so. I don't know, I feel like I'm ready for, for Blaine, to be honest. Let's go for it. I'm just gonna... Oh, I went in here again. I'm gonna lead strong with Mulpit. And, uh... He has pretty good backup, if he needs it. Cave. Hotter and better than ever. Here we go. Starting off with a slug mount, this should be easy. Level 25. I doubt he can tank a Surf. Oh boy. Level 30 Magmar. Oh my god, it knows Thunder Punch. Mulpit's done. He's finished. Oh my god, he lived! Mulpit! Holy crap, tank that hit like a champion! Yes, Mulpit! Oh, yes, Mulpit! Okay, can he take another one? That did what, 47? Do I want to risk it though? Oh man. You know what? If he tries it again, I'm just gonna switch into Stampers and he won't affect him. That's the safer play. Okay, so he max potions. But it allowed me a free switch. And now I use Earthquake. Oh, it knows Cross Chop! It missed! Oh my god, it missed! Oh my god! Stamper is killed with the crit. <laughs> this is insanity. Holy crap. I'm getting so lucky. Oh my god. What? Stampers! Oh my god. Well, my luck just changed, I guess. Please don't kill Homer, too. Is he gonna kill everybody with... 
<gasps> Homer, you lived. Please kill it. Please kill it with this surf. I came way too early to this fight. Oh, I think I may be dead here. This might be the end of the Nuzlocke. Who can do it for me? I don't think Mulpit could take a, a faint attack. Does Dark even affect Ghost? Or is it super effective against them? Confuse Ray? Yeah, I think it's super effective. I came here way too early to fight Blaine. I think I'm screwed. I'm gonna try and... What do I do here? Let's go for a submission. Oh, so close. I can kill him with a quick attack! Oh, Snoofy. Snoofy! Oh my god, Snoofy. Oh my god. Roll. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, I came here way too early. I'm so... So sorry, everybody. Wait, it knows hypnosis? He's fly. Please use fly. Okay, it's in the air. Oh my god, no way. This was the most intense battle I think I've ever had in a Nuzlocke. Oh my god, I thought it was over. I thought we were done for. I got way overconfident in how strong my Pokemon were. I'm like shaking from that. Fire Blast TM. We did it, but at what cost? Oh my god. Man, I was really looking forward to Homer becoming Golduck. Stampers, I'm pretty sore about, but you know what? Helped us out for two gyms. Got a, kit, a really good kill. Did his job, or her job, sorry. Vivi was new, but, you know. <sighs> well, Snoofy, Mulpit, and Roll survived. I can't believe Snoofy took out that Houndoom. That was just, that was incredible. This is why I do Nuzlocks. Okay, so lesson learned. That was way too early to be fighting Blaine. So I think what I'll do is go and level up in... Uh... Well, first I need to figure out what my Pokemon situation is going to be, because I just lost three, like half my team there. Sorry, Stampers. Homer, nice knowing ya. And Vivi. That's a Nuzlocke for ya. I was like legit like this Nuzlocke's done. I'm, I'm finished here. 
Well, I got this tentacle, which I will use now. I also have this seal, which does have ice type moves. I have so many water types. I've never really used Electrode. I don't know if it's good. I think this Voltorb's kind of crap, though. Pretty fast. Eh, yeah, he's kind of bad. Hmm. Well, I'll take out um, Bessie for now. As well as Flappy. <laughs> Just in case I run into some issues. I should have brought this thing with me. I don't know what I was thinking. It would have taken that Houndoom out, no problem. Well, I mean, that's a humbling lesson that I guess I needed to learn. All right, Mrs. Wiggles. Well, they all died valiant valiantly, at least. I'll hold on to Fire Blast until I'm closer to the Elite Four, just in case. I know I can buy some of these later. Sludge Bomb would be good for Miss Wiggles. I can buy Sludge Bomb, so that's not a huge deal. It's better than Acid. But it's kind of good to keep some weak moves just for... Slowly damaging something if I need to. Yeah, we'll just yeah, whatever. Now what else we got? That's it for now. So I have some catching to do, I think. I really need to find some Pokemon. So I got my catch there. I haven't been to Route 19. I haven't been out east of Fuchsia City. I haven't been to Route 17. So I have a few spots still. I gotta start being careful though because I'm gonna run out of catches pretty soon. And nothing's worse than having to go at the Elite Four with like only four or five Pokemon. Anyway. Oh, there's these routes too. Okay, so I think I should go to Cycling Road. Level up, catch something new, get back on track. So let's go to Celadon. Whew, that was intense, but I mean, we're doing it. Badge 5? This is a good run, no matter what happens. That was like insanity. That was the craziest battle I've had in a long time. I got super lucky and then super unlucky as well. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> So I'm all healed up, right? I'll give, um, well I need the money, so I mean that coin's fine. Someone can use the lucky egg. Maybe I will keep Bessie on. That's so many water types, though. I 
I'll figure it out later. Alright, so we got Hopefully these trainers aren't super high level now. Ooh, Furo. Level 30 Furo. Crap, this thing probably knows Pursuit. I just did okay, that's doing a lot. Please stop, please stop. Why does this hit so much? I might have to flee, because this is kinda not good. Sneefy can probably take a fury attack. Yeah, I use pursuit. Okay, Mrs. Wiggles is okay, thankfully. Ember? Oh my god. Please. A burn would actually turn things around here. Or crit. I need it to not use Fury Attack for a turn. It just needs to stop doing that. Good god. Mulpit has a lot of hit points. Okay, finally didn't do it for one turn. I could go for a Pokeball and hope for the best. I might just have to run from this, it's kind of killing everybody. Ah, oh, that would have been so good. Okay, it needs to stop using this move on me. It only does 10 to mulp it, so maybe I can... I think if I surf it I might kill it? Eh, maybe not. worth a shot. If it kills it, it kills it. Oh, perfect. Okay. Please work. <sighs> okay, at least it just growled. Fury Attack has killed like three or four of my Pokemon on this Nuzlocke. I just do not want it to happen again. Finally. Okay, good. No one died and we got a level 30 Furo. Hmm, what should his name be? He's kind of like a turkey, so... He's, he's jive. He's a jive turkey. Okay. That was a pretty strong Furo, so maybe I should add him to the team. Why am I on the bike? It's faster to run. Please be good. Zero attack IVs. How is he doing? Th That's with zero attack IVs? He was doing that much damage? That's absurd. Okay, well that's my catch for Cycling Road. I do want to battle some of the trainers for experience. But I think they have like coughings and stuff, so I don't want to get blown up. But we'll find out. Yeah, you know what? This just seems like a risk I don't need to take. 
after losing half my team to Blaine. It's not even worth it. Um, so I can go east of Fuchsia as well. I'm not even sure what I can get out here. There's some trainers here too. I think they're all bird trainers. Please something good. I already have Pidgeotto. So I can't get it again. Okay, these are more around my level, which is nice to see. Maybe I can get some experience too. Ah, close. Almost one shot it. Pretty decent chunk for killing that. Come on, something good. Please. Ooh, Knit Arena. That's actually awesome. Okay, so Mulpa just needs to not faint this. I'm actually going to switch in a roll. And I'll try and put it to sleep. Well, that worked. I'll just hit it with a peck. Okay, that barely did anything. Shouldn't be very effective against Rule. Alright. If I Dream Eater it, it might faint, so I'm just gonna hit Fly. I don't think Nidorina's catch rate is that high. Go for another fly and then I'll put it back to sleep. I have so many of these Pokeballs, I should just use them up. One of these will work eventually. New Queen would be pretty awesome. I don't know if I have a Moonstone though. Yay. Well, if she's a Nitto Queen, she's Nitto Queen Latifa. 90s references. Anyway. Or is that early 2000s? It was around that time. When Queen Latifa was becoming a star. Let's see here. These be good. It's pretty fast. It's got a lot of health. The attacks on the low side, so it's the defense, but and it has really high special. If I wanted to teach it something sneaky. All right, you know what? I have to. I have to add her. So we have too many water types, so I'm going to put Bessie away. Why did I give it an item? Yeah. 
Now we have a cool poison type. I might have to look up when it learns certain moves before I evolve it, but... I know that she has high defense naturally. Or high-ish defense. She's pretty uh, even across the board. Do I have a Moonstone? I don't think I ever picked one up. I think I know where I can get one though, so... I will go take a look. Man, I got a lot of training to do before I go to the next gym. Um, Koga wouldn't be a bad choice for the next fight. Since I have... Oh well, yeah, Stampers is, uh, is gone. Dang. So, Mount Moon. There's like a place I can kind of go up, and there's like a house up there on the mountain top. Okay, roll in front for a bit. I really want Roll to learn Wing Attack. I really like um, Taylo because it learns Wing Attack super early, which is awesome. Such a good move. So he's just up here. I think he gives me a Moonstone, or you can find one. Hello, Poké Doll. No, guess not. Hmm. I wish I knew where the moonstone was. Got to be able to find one in here somewhere. That rock thing is the helix fossil. I'm pretty positive. I already caught Sandshrew in here. I might have one in my PC. I put a bunch of stuff in there. up here? I'm not finding one anyway. The encounter rate in here is ridiculous as well. Surprised I didn't one-shot it. getting out of here. This place sucks. There's gotta be another way I can get a Moonstone. Maybe I can just buy them. Sandro, please. Why is this here? Hello, Liz. Do you think Faulkner or Violet Jim is cool and handsome? is even more cool and handsomer than Falconer. I wish I could meet him. Okay, later. Uh-huh. Well, I'm leaving. <clears throat> and I'm going to check the Celadon Mart for Moonstone. I might have one. Cliff Fairy might have like a chance of having it as a held item as well. I'm not sure. I haven't caught anything in Celadon. Oh yeah, I did. I got um, Eevee here. So I think this guy has them. Oh, it's a uh, TM guy. So I have access to set two. Forget what he has. Or 
pull out sludge bomb. Yeah, nothing too good yet. Oh, he does sell moonstones. Awesome. All these trade items. Just gotta look up really fast. Let me just save it in case something happens. I'm gonna look up really quick. Uh, if Nidoqueen Queen learns anything, or uh, Nidorino learns anything, I want to get before I evolve it. Because if so, um, I'd rather just wait a little bit. So let's see, Nid Arena. I want to say Nido Queen learns like Mega Punch and stuff, so I don't want to miss out on that. So it learns Bite at 36 and Fury Swipes at 46. Okay, that's not good. So then we'll check Nido Queen. Ah, uh, it learns Body Slam at 23, but it's already level 23. Maybe if I evolve it now, we'll learn it. But it looks like it's mostly just for TMs and stuff. Well, let's just evolve it then. I'm interested to see what the sprite looks like. I don't really remember. Evolve, Latifa. First time I've had a Nidoqueen Queen in this Nuzlocke. Eh, sprite's alright. Oh, sweet. That's amazing. It does learn it. Yes, please. Bye, Tackle. May not be a uh, Mega Punch, but it's still pretty good. So I'll give you Lucky Egg for now. And Focus Band can go to Miss Wiggles for now. Yay. That made me happy. At least I got a cool Pokemon. Oh man, I'm kind of bummed about Stampers though. I was hoping to get Rhydon. Maybe I'll catch Rhydon in Victory Road. That'd be insane. So there's a bunch more routes I can check. I can go east of Newbark. I can go south of Blackthorn. I have around Mahogany Town. Is there anything in Cianwood? There's a fighting type gym here I know, but I'm wondering if there's any um any Pokemon to be caught here that could help us out. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you don't need Surf to get here. That's right. Could go searching for more water types, but I have so, so many of them already. Um, I haven't been, like, around Olivine at all. Like, west of Ecrutique. Also, I believe I can maybe fight the Kimono Girls here. I would like to. I just, I don't know what level they are. It might be level 30 around, so maybe wait on that. Let's head out west here and see what we find. 
Some trainers out here too. Maybe I'll try a different grass patch than the first, other than the first one I see. I like that sneak in action. Ooh, Raticate. He's cool. Use Hypnosis. Hypnotize him with your gigantic owl eyes. And now you peck him. You peck him in the face. Ah, oh, he woke up right away. Peck him in the face! Go for the eyes! Oh god, Hyper Fang. Okay, you're good. Hypnosis work, please. Thank you. Come on, first ball. I'm gonna actually swap roll out in case he crits me or something annoying. Bitey or nah. I know. You have Miss Mrs. Uh, Wiggles. Now you have Mr. Whiskers. If it will fit. Mr. Whisker. Yeah, that was good. I'm hoping the trainers aren't skilled too high. I guess I can fight one. Because they've all scaled up now, so... And I fought Blaine way too early, which isn't good. My own fault. Mr. Mime... Okay, he's only level 22. I think we're okay. Fly in the air! He became goo. Why is he raising his attack? He's a, a special attacker, isn't he? Oh, come on, are you kidding me? See if this does a decent amount of damage. Not really. I'll just peck him. So we'll get him down eventually. It's faster. Yeah, one fly should do it, and he might wake up. Yeah. Please don't confuse me. That should be it for him. Oh, are you kidding me? Substituted? How annoying. Pretty smart, though. That was a little bit more obnoxious than I thought it was going to be. This is definitely a switch out. I don't have stampers anymore. So deal with Magnemite. Does Latifah no double kick? Yeah, I think she does. And I think she's ground now, or is she just poison? Yep. 
background as well. And she knows double kick, so we'll double kick it. That'll do 20. Good job, Latifa. All got kind of beat up there. Who do I want to level? Let's get Latifa a couple levels. I'm pretty sure I can buy Earthquake again after I get another badge. Or two. Or three. Um, at some point, after I get enough badges, I think I can buy Earthquake, so... I can teach Earthquake to Latifa as well. Alright, this is a good matchup for me. Body slam! I like the little bounce beforehand. I don't think electric types can get paralyzed in Gen 2. This isn't a good matchup for me. Maybe Mulpit can do it. Just by using Surf. That's pretty good. I'd say Porion's turning out to be quite strong. Can take hits really well. Yatifa. Okay, well at least the trainers aren't super strong. And I can level up my Pokemon to a nice good level before I go after Koga or whoever I decide to. Body slam. Pretty sure this thing has pursuit, so I gotta be careful. Yay! Good job, Latifa. They might have Fury Attack, so... Swap into... Mulpit. Please no Pursuit. Okay. Actually does quite a bit of damage. Okay, it missed, luckily. Hopefully this one-shots it. And I should be able to one-shot this one as well. Oh, I missed two, thankfully. Yay. We did it. There's one more fight. Um... I think I'll just fly back, play it safe.
I do want to check that Raticate too, if it's really good. Raticate's actually kind of strong. Learn some really good strong normal moves. Oh my god, this Raticate is amazing! It has perfect attack! Almost perfect speed, almost perfect special, almost like really high defense and hit points. Okay, this has to go in my team. Who? Oh yeah, Flapina can go. Mr. Whisker. And I'm also going to do something cheeky. And I'm going to give him a pink bow. Wait, was Mr. Whisker male or female? Okay, he's male. I was like, if he was female, that would have been really embarrassing. So let's go get him the pink bow. He's going to be the strongest normal type ever. Wait, why did I come to the PC? Probably should put some stuff in. That I don't really need. I kind of need everything right now. There's the pink bow. So I'll make him even a little bit more stronger than he already is. That is a really, really good Braticate, honestly. Super rare. So he's gonna be really powerful. I might just give him the lucky egg for now though, till he catches up. Oh, I can't check the moves. Okay, what is Submission. Yeah, it's only 80, that's why. 80 accuracy. Or is that power? I guess it doesn't say. So I'll give him the lucky egg for now, and then... I guess Latifa can use the pink bow. Power up body slam until... Mr. Whisker is ready for it. Alright, well, pretty eventful episode here. Um, a lot of deaths, but we did get a badge out of it. And uh, some new catches. But uh, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing or giving me a follow on Twitch. And I'll see you next time.